You're watching Telecom TV from the TIP Summit at the Fuse 22 event here in Madrid. I'm delighted to say that I'm now joined by Lloyd Umpaleli, who is GM, Group Technology, responsible for transport and OSS tools at MTN. Lloyd, very good to talk to you. Thanks for spending some time with us. Before we go into the whole issue of disaggregation, just remind us about the extent of MTN's networks and business across Africa. Um, yeah, it's uh, quite a privilege and a pleasure to be at the Fuse event, um, you know, uh, this year. So as MTN, you might know um, that uh, we operate in 19 markets um, across Africa, you know, and, um, you know, the Middle East. So that is really operating um, the mobile network, um, which is um, uh, the radio access network, as you know it, you know, the base station where you know, uh, the cellular telephones, um, you know, attach. Um, the business covers also, you know, the, um, you know, the enterprise and fixed, you know, networks. Yeah, so it's across that base um, of uh, the markets, yeah. Now, MTN has long been associated with network systems, disaggregation. What, what's been the appeal of disaggregation to you? Yeah, um, very good question. So I think just, you know, the fascination that um, it's got uh, the opportunity to address some of, um, you know, the key challenges that we've been facing um, as an operator. So from an MTN, um, you know, perspective, we have to contend with, um, you know, the complexity brought about by the multi-vendor environment um, that we have. So um, we thought, you know, open and disaggregation um, would really come in handy, you know, uh, to help us um, with that. So uh, because of the complexity, we need to find a solution to really simplify um, the network. And this is uh, through um, introducing intelligence, which through um, a tip, as you know it, um, there's a subgroup called OOPT. Um, which is uh, open optical packet uh, transport, where the transport initiative, um, you know, uh, programs are being run. And within that, um, we have what is called MUST, uh, which is uh, M-U-S-T, uh, which stands for Mandatory Use Cases for SDN um, Transport. So together with some of, um, you know, the leading operators uh, globally, uh, the likes of Vodafone, Telia, Telefonica, um, NTT, um, Deutsche Telekom. Uh, we, we, we came together and put uh, a white paper um, for open SDN architecture, which really um, began to give um, a standard for SDN, which never really um, existed. So this was just to ensure that um, we automate um, or we accelerate automation of you know, the SDN because it was going to be quite difficult to do that if we are not aligned on uh, common protocols and standards. So from a tip perspective, they are partnering um, with um, standard bodies. So they're not reinventing the wheel from that perspective to bring this um, whole architecture together and standardize it, which then makes it easy to address um, the multi-vendor um, situation that we have. And what are you doing in practice? Are you able to tell us about any of the trials or, or, or distributions you, you've got of disaggregated networks? Yeah, um, sure. So, um, you know, back in 2019, um, we uh, did the lab trial for what is called uh, the DCSG. Um, which stands for a disaggregated cell side gateway. Um, so it's an open um, white box router, if you want to call it that. Um, so we did a lab test in South Africa, uh, one of our flagship markets there. And it was also an introduction of that technology in Africa. So we're quite excited about that. And uh, I mean, you know, doing the test in the lab uh, just really gives you a sense of how the technology works. But there was a lot more components to consider in there, including how, um, you know, the product would fare in a real network. So we needed now to take it a notch up and uh, we managed to take it to our market in um, Uganda. So we are quite... Uh, 
uh, uh, grateful that you know the market allowed us to run this um, proof of concept in there. Um, which has uh, which was concluded very recently and it was very successful we are very excited about that so um, what we trialed over there was not only the technology and its functionality but also um, you know the operating or business model where now um, we have a disaggregated you know architecture which then means that the software and the hardware are separated uh, and then it introduces uh, what is called, um, you know, system integrators. So we needed to um, also uh, trial, you know, the model itself. So we're quite um, happy that, you know, it went quite well. Yeah. Now, the, the ability to improve network automation management functions has, has been um, cited by supporters of disaggregation as, as one of the, of the main benefits. Is, is this a case? Is this a, is this a real factor that, that could change how you operate and how, how you manage networks? Yeah, and I mean, this is where, if you want to call it, you know, the softwareization of, you know, transport, you know, uh, comes in. Earlier on, I spoke about, you know, complexity, you know, being a real challenge. And, um, you know, looking ahead uh, is going to get more and more complex. You know, the network is going to get more and more complex. And this is where the intelligence come in. And where it ties in with disaggregation is um, the standardization of these APIs, as uh, you know, uh, we know them, to ensure that we are able to orchestrate, you know, uh, to abstract the network and orchestrate it from, you know, a, a single layer. So... This talks to, um, from a transport perspective, um, you know, domain controllers, um, moving up to hierarchical controller, which is where uh, the real network, uh, you know, abstraction happens and automation, um, you know, kicks in. Yeah. Okay. And finally, Lloyd, what is it that the industry, and in particular the, the TIP community here, what can they focus on in the coming years that's going to really make the jobs of or people like you and the, and the operators easier? You know, what is it that you're imploring them that they need to work harder on? Yeah, look, and I mean, we are part of the community, I mean, as they call it. So we all put our heads together to really ensure that the solutions that we come up with are aligned um, to, you know, the common problems, you know, that we have. I think we are on the right path. Um, so I think the first thing was really getting um, the standardization of the interfaces and protocols, right? So they talk about these APIs um, and you know some of these um, you know protocols that are there. So I think we are in you know the right path because really where we're going is. Um, you know, minimizing that complexity from, you know, uh, the multi-vendor um, environment, but also ensuring um, that, you know, there's commonality, you know, from, you know, the different, um, you know, vendors and introducing uh, that layer of intelligence and making it um, seamless. So, yeah, look, I think um, we're on the right path. Yeah. Well, Lloyd, thank you very much. Great talking with you. Thanks for joining us on the program. It's only a pleasure, Guy. Um, thank you for having me.